biggest racist protests that's happened in Melbourne for decades. So we've called on all anti-racists to gather here today to try to occupy Federation Square so the racist Islamophobic Reclaim Australia can't hold their hate rally. Uh, basically the fascists of Reclaim Australia, there's about a hundred of them in uh, up on Federation Square. We have managed to block two of the access sites so we've actually blocked them in and actually stopped uh, more of the fascists going in there. I came to the rally because because racism is wrong, because we're all the same underneath our skin. We have the same thoughts and feelings and emotions. We just come from different places and have different outward appearances. I'm here to defend the right to safety against racism and against fascism. I think Australia has a serious problem um, with racism and this is just the ugly blooming of it. So I'm here today to protest against how racists try to legalize their actions. They do that all over the world right now. I see it in Denmark and Europe as well. Racism uh, has no place in Australia and racism needs to go. We need to indicate as strongly as we possibly can that the Melbourne people are opposed to racism, opposed to any uh, development of any far-right groups. And we need to fight back and keep fighting back until we have broken the racist, cy racist cycle of people legalising racism. The main messages of our rally are anti-racism, is that yes, there's problems in Australia, but they're not caused by Muslims or any other ethnic or religious minority. They're caused by the government and their pro-big business policies. This is a hard demonstration, but it's fantastic to see so many people united, uh, standing as one, holding the line. I think it's fantastic. Uh, the message of the opponent side, the anti-Muslim rally, they're spreading all sorts of conspiracy theories about halal food, about a conspiracy to introduce Sharia law, about a conspiracy to ban Easter and Christmas, just crazy out there stuff. And it would be laughable if it wasn't so dangerous because we know that when racist and Islamic phobic ideas become more prominent in society, that correlates with an increase in hate crimes on the street and we're already hearing reports of more hate crimes against Muslims but also other people from the Middle East and other ethnic and religious minorities and this is unacceptable so we're here today to rally against racism and to rally against hatred. I'm a Muslim and I'm a woman and I'm a, I'm a doctor and Women have rights just as much as anyone else does. Stop blaming cultural problems on Islam. They claim that they're concerned about gender equality, which is, ab and they seem to be uh, trying to imply with their placards that only Muslims assault women. Well, I've got news for them. And these people want to pretend they care about women's rights. Actually, these people support wars, which are about massacring people all throughout the Middle East, including women. Uh, it's disgusting they want to pretend they care about women's rights when they support actually ruining women's lives. Well, we were holding a blockade against the Reclaim Australia rally. Uh, the police line behind us were pushing us forward. Horses came in from the front and people were getting crushed. There's a woman over there who was pulled under the crowd by the police and on the ground. We managed to get her out, but she's now being tended to by uh, paramedics. Well, the counter-protests, I think, has outnumbered the protesters, um, which is great. And I'm so happy that there's an opposition here today in great numbers. And most of the racists that came here to rally today have actually not been able to attend their rally, so we consider that a success. Urging the Western Australian government to not forcibly evict Aboriginal...